All right, guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, beginner's playthrough on the island. Um, what I did last time, um, I didn't show you guys. Uh, what I was doing was looking for beaver dams. I did this whole thing when I was following with the flowers, and there's a red flower that spawns on the top of the mountain. There's a flower or a cattail looking flower that spawns in the swamp. And you're supposed to be able to get rare flowers from those, and it doesn't work. I mean, I've, I've tried the Anklo, which is supposed to be the best harvester. You don't get any of them from those guys. So I went around and, and did all the locations of the beavers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to that video up in the, uh, the cards up here. So you guys can go watch that video if you want and show you where all the beaver dam locations are on the island. But that's what I did. I flew around, raided all the beaver dams I could find. Um, and I just posted a video on that and I didn't want to post that as well in the playthrough because that would be kind of boring and then part of that um, During that part I had found uh, right after the beehive I had found the Quetzal and I also found a Tapanjera That was when I was doing the beavers So if you want to see that part that video that's a video I posted last week I put the part with the Quetzal in it and the part with the Tapanjera in it and just kind of edited out the part about the beaver dams because uh like i said it just wasn't that important to show that thing twice i don't want to do that and bore people so um put that in there so now i have a tapajera it was stuck on the tree the quetzal that cool tech quetzal right there and then uh that's what i did last time i got a bunch of beaver dams and everything so what i want to do today is uh kind of finish working on the water if I can let me see what I can do I want to try to do this this is not the greatest most exciting thing but I really want to close that in still nighttime so I got time let me see what I have here I have nothing in here what I need is a bunch of walls and I got some stone Let's see what my textrator's got textrator has no wood I need wood that's what I need how about you guys? Nope, I didn't do any wood. So what I need to do is harvest some wood. Oh, there we go. I got a little bit. Two, three. Can I take three? Ooh, I can barely carry this, but I can carry it. Okay. So we're just gonna craft a bunch of uh, walls. I probably kind of edit this part out. You guys don't need to watch me craft a bunch of walls, but that's what I need to do. The very boring part. Crafting is always the boring. My daughter says building is the most boring part. And I said, nah, I disagree. I think it's gathering the supplies or grinding so you can build. That's the boring part. It takes forever. But let's get this stuff built. I'll try to make as many walls as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab some more. How much wood do I got? Come on, open. Totally glitched. Alright. Get rid of that and that. Why oh, not room in there? Get rid of some of this stuff. I need all this stuff. Alright, cool. Too much thatch. Thatch is too easy to come by. So I can reach them both. Yes. One thatch. Yes, big some more walls. So I'll make as many of these as I can and I get in that water when it's daylight and we'll start working on that.
Okay. Let's do the Strider thing. How much you got? A bunch of crap. Let's use you to be able. Come on. Helmet. <clears throat> Alright guys, I collected a bunch of materials as you guys did not see probably, but I was using my text writer and here's what I made. I made 230 walls. So I'm going to take half of these, I think I can carry half at a time, yep, and we are going to go in this water and we are going to try to finish this uh, walls here, see what I can do, get over here and do this. So all I'm doing, like I showed you guys before, if you watch one of the other episodes, is just dropping these walls down to the bottom as far as they'll go. Uh, I've had dinos on Ragnarok glitch out. I haven't had it on uh, the island yet, but on Ragnarok, man, they glitch out of these walls all the time. So you can have dinos just like, spawn right through the walls. You're a water dino, so I've lost a couple of megalodons because they were out fighting stuff and I didn't know it. spot pick that up before I can't pick it up but for the most part this works pretty good it usually keeps the bad dinos out I think I got enough. Take a stack of 80. Can I carry that? Nope. I cannot. I carry 50 though. I'm walking slow because of the flippers.
gonna put some doorways on this side. Think about that for a minute. Definitely made too many. Alright, let's make some doorways. go guys that's pretty much it right there now I don't have to enclose the other side what I was thinking about was enclosing it all the way around but I don't think I'm gonna do it I just don't want to um, it's just annoying uh, to me I mean I have more walls I'll show you guys what I mean by that Get more walls. I have more element on me, right? Yep, I'm cool. Alright, so what I mean is dropping this stuff like this. I'll show you. Take these walls. And that's not right because the foundations are there. That one is not right. It snapped on the foundation, not the ceiling. That one didn't work either. So then I have walls on both sides. I may do that, I just don't know. I haven't decided. It makes it prettier. Oh, that one didn't work. Try that again. There we go. So it's a lot prettier when you put the walls on both sides. But it's also a pain in the butt because you need a lot more of these things. And I gotta snap them. I'm using the, uh, the Q to snap them to the right spots. If they work. They don't always work. don't have to be perfect but when I have the uh, foundation on the ground sometimes it wants to snap to the foundation not the ceiling and then in here you can do it two ways you can either do this or you can just put another thing there but I think I'll do this That fish is still stuck there. That's funny. That fish has been stuck there for quite a while. No, he's not. Alright, I guess I'll close them in. I'm not going to do the whole thing now, but I'll show you guys what I mean so you you know how I'm doing it. And then eventually I'll close it all in. But that's just boring, boring, boring. Who wants to watch that? Did I put them in there? Oh, there we go. It's almost dark again, man.
And if I want to make these like look all pretty down here, I come down here to these guys and say, switch the block, and then it looks like the wall. It makes it look look more uh, aesthetically pleasing. Oops. Get that one. There it is. Okay. Just close it in with what I have. And this one again, I'll do the same way. snapping one the one that was already down ah did it again get going too fast these other 50 and finish it off then I'll need to make more later but for now we're good come on get in the water I can at least move in the water weighted down. Not much, but little. That won't snap. There we go. It's having trouble snapping, guys, and then my video was shut off, so my recorder. I don't know what happened. So now we have the outside of the gate. So you see how I have it lined up here. I could do this and make it look pretty, but I don't really care. I said it's not even, it's not, it's pointless. I'm just doing it just to make it look better. This side I'll have to. I want to close it in. Oops. Let's, see, let's go inside my inventory real quick. See if I can make any more since I broke some. 28 more. And I learned something from my uncle. He told me that uh, he plays art too. And he told me that you can put lights underwater. And I figured it out. You can. You can put lights underwater. So as long as you run electrical cables, you can light this area up underwater. The lights just have to be on things like, you know, foundations or something. So, or a ceiling tile sticking out a little bit. Uh-oh. That was a mistake. Just made a big boo boo there. Not gonna have enough of those to fix it either. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. Put these to the bottom. I want to snap again. Okay, I need more. Like that. Yep, 
Yeah, I'll put, uh, let me make two more. Okay. Give me a broke those. make more walls if I'm going to close it all the way which eventually I will alright so let's grab some a couple of these megs real quick where did I put them at There's my basils. Let's see what we have. 36, 182, 175. Let's take stuck out. Take this one out. And megalodons. 132, 206. Let's take two of those out. And I need the angler. My angler. Okay. So now I should be safe guys. So now I'm a water pan basically created. I'm going to throw my angler out here. And the cool thing about the angler is he'll light up the water. So I'm going to park him. Ah, I can, man, I can't guide this thing sometimes. I'm going to park him right here. Right there. There we go. Make sure he's on passive. Should be good. Let's give him some levels. I want movement speed, I want him super fast, I want his health up, so I can outrun stuff. So these guys are good silica pearl guys, you could use these to chase down silica pearls on the bottom of the ocean and outrun everything, as long as you're fast enough. Alright, let him eat. Alright, let's take out the basils. Wait, which one's this one? This is female or male? Oh, that's a male. So I could breed now. <laughs> yep. Well, I could breed before, but now I really can. Cool. Basils are out. Take out the two mags. What is that? I don't have a saddle. Oh, they both got saddles. Okay. Yeah, let's put my other bees well too. Alright guys, there's my water pen done. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys liked it. I know I did this over several videos, but you can kind of get an idea how I did it. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.